Hello and welcome back to another tutorial here for the Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake Speed Run for any percent played on PS2 PAL, but also working for NTSC and HTC versions of the game. Now we just finished the Green Beret section. Let's make our way over to the Running Man and finish him off. For that, we go back south again and exit. We want to get to the east part of that whole swamp. And for that, we want to follow this path. There we go. We want to exit to the top here to this minefield. Now, why do we want to be in a minefield? Well, because we're going to need mines to beat the next boss, which is Running Man. Just go up here, crouch, and then turn right. And as soon as you hear the pickup sound for the grenade, uh, for the mines, switch over to the mines so you can see the amount. To the left, and ideally you should be, there we go, gotten five of them. Now, we'll not show you exactly where these mines are. You can check out the map on the Metal Gear Speedrunners wiki for that. But in general, you're going to go here, here, here. And that way you should have five. I recommend picking up five here, although you only need four in order to finish um, the Running Man. That is because we need a fifth anyway, later when we meet the fake Dr. Madna. And it's the most opportune time for us to grab one of those. You can also do it in a different location that we'll show you later. But I personally like to grab this one here. Now, go back down again. And now we're going to make our way through the swamp. And turn this side. And here, I will teach you now how to make it past the swamp level. It's fairly easy to memorize. There are a few of these visual cues. And the first one is, well, we got to be at the top here. And then make our way over to the right. I'm going to stop where we are here at this golden triangle. See to the right of snake, there's like a triangle. Right, right, down. That's exactly where our cue is to go south. How far south do we want to go? We want to be on the height of this bubble. Bubbles are a great pathfinder for us. So when we come from the top, we want to be on this level and turn left. As soon as we reach this point here, where we can see these three golden points, sort of a tetroid, why not? It actually is kind of like an arrow. It shows us to go down. How far down do we want to go? We want to be on the level of this bubble to our right. Basically where this golden, green, golden spot is. That's when we turn left. On this screen here, very easy to memorize. We want to go left as far as the bubble on the bottom is. All right, there's a bubble at believe us, and that's why we want to turn up. And how far do we want to go? Well, we're going to go as far as the right bubble here shows us. This is the height level for us. Now, this next visual indicator is basically just void. We want to be here as far left as we are reaching this void. We want to go down. There's a bubble to the left, and that's exactly when we also want to turn left. Now we need to make our way down, and we want to go down as far as this. Um, my visual cue is that this is the only point here. If you consider this like another triangle, this is the top of the tetroid, and then there are three dark spots down here. But as you can see, it's already too low. So we want to, the latest point when we come from the top, right, want to turn right is here. Good thing though is also we also immediately can turn down again because where there's another bubble to the bottom, that's where we turn down. You can actually stand on top of the bubble and then turn right and that's when we leave the screen. And we walk all the way to the right here for a very long time until we hit this point. Above us is another bubble. That means that's where we're going to change. And from then on, we're going to leave to the right. We walk all the way here until we basically are at this corner. Right? Just extend the line here from this little island and then walk south. And that's the first part. Now, the second part is way shorter, but it's also very easy to memorize. Do you see here the door? The left um, basically corner here of the door. Just walk up there. You can also see on the texture here, there are a few, like, brighter spots. That's my personal visual cue. Follow up here until we hit the bubble. Like, one time before that. If you're actually on the height of the bubble, we will start running. So we want to be just below that. Right here. Turn right until we hit the bubble. And then go up. Turn left. Don't go all the way. If you're going all the way, that's too far. You only want to go as far as these, these bubbles go. Go to the left, and as soon as we get here, there's a very lengthy path, actually. Like, it's very broad, as we can see here. So as soon as you hit that corner, just hold up, and you're good to go. Now, there's a guard here. He will see us. 
because he takes a long time to go away, but we'll play any percent so the alert doesn't bother us too much. Enter this room here. We should be still on the level 2 card, and the first door is a level 2 door. Now the next one is a level 1, so just L2 up 1. There we go. And let's begin the Running Man fight. Now the Running Man fight for Big Boss is fairly strange. For any percent easy, it's really easy. I'm going to show you. We're going to place four mines at the right side before we exit the room. And we're going to make our way to the top. And Running Man will always be on the opposite side where we are in these four squares. So wait for him to be done. And as soon as we can, we're going to start planting down four mines. Go up here. We want to be roughly in the center. Not too far up, not too far low. Just in the center here. One, two, three, four. Turn left. Go up. And we want to be on the opposite side. So we want to be here. And then Running Man, as you can see on the radar, will turn. Don't be too fast when turning sides, or Running Man will be not out of his iframes. And you get a feeling for it basically just by doing this fight often enough. Now we still have one mine left, and we're good to go. As we finished him in the left, Running Man will be on the right. If you accidentally have him walk too early over to the other side and you want to explore, that's fine. The mine won't be. Uh, exploding. You can just turn to the left side or the right side, depending on which did last, and then Running Man will be on the opposite end and he will be roughly here. Fairly easy to do, just try it a few times, it should naturally click, and then that's the Running Man segment. Time to grab the singer and fight the Heidi in the next part. <laughs> 